Hi, welcome back to another episode of Traveling Through the Bible the Show.com. I'm Greg Deshell for I like the com out there because we appreciate every one of you out there watching our show each week. But if you can, tell all your friends, family, we'd love to have them watch our show. Of course, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot more videos out there that we'd love for you to see when you can. But for today's video, we're going to talk about something special, and that's the Herodian Palace. That's a palace that's in Bethlehem. Now, if you've been with Maranatha Tours, you're going to go to the Church of the Nativity, of course, Shepherd's Fields. But if you haven't done the Herodian, you need to. It is an awesome site. Enjoy the video. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Our birthday shout-outs are next, and we'll see you next week. And thanks for watching. This is the Herodium, and uh, you're looking over the area of Bethlehem. This is the only fortress that was named after Herod. Uh, he rebuilt six and built one from uh, scratch, and it, and the only one that, uh, uh, or the, the one that he was buried in. Now, for years, uh, archaeologists have been trying to find the tomb of, of Herod. And we're talking about Herod the Great. You're talking about someone you read about in the Bible. He was the one who ordered the kids of Bethlehem. Uh, killed when Jesus was born just to make sure that he gets to the king. They found a sarcophagus, a couple of sarcophagi. Some of you might have seen this on National uh, Geographic. There was a show about this. They found two elaborate sarcophagi which are at the Israel Museum, but you're looking at the general area of the tomb. And, and again, for years they did a lot of research. They did a lot of archaeology. They discovered the lower Herodium. Uh, and, and that sort of, sort of uh, reflects the, the sort of, of uh, lavish life, the, uh, uh, you know, the luxury that Herod lived in with a pool and, and uh, uh, an island in the middle of the pool. Uh, but recently they discovered certain rooms, they discovered the tomb itself, and they, they discovered a small theater that he had on the site. Okay, now what we are doing now is going under through the water system which uh, was built by Herod to collect one off rainwater and use it for the purpose of uh, you know, the residents of this place. Uh, and later on was turned into a uh, zealot or the uh, 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 rebels against Rome sort of uh, weapon storage. And then eventually in the Bar Kokhba revolt, the second century, 135 against the Romans, it was turned into the escape route of these rebels. See ya!